The Orange by Wendy Cope on the Poetry Corner. In the words of Wendy Cope, at lunchtime I bought a huge orange. Today we delve into the world of this remarkable poet, exploring one of her most cherished pieces, The Orange. This poem with its seemingly simple theme beautifully encapsulates the profound joy found in life's ordinary moments. Wendy Cope, using the metaphor of an orange, invites us to relish the sweetness of everyday pleasures, a reminder of the beauty that surrounds us. So, indulge in the sweetness of this simple yet profound poem, The Orange. Nestled in the heart of this poem lies a simple yet profound tale. Let's dive into it. At lunchtime I bought a huge orange. The size of it made us all laugh. I peeled it and shared it with Robert and Dave. They got quarters and I had a half. And that orange, it made me so happy. As ordinary things often do just lately. The shopping. A walk in the park. This is peace and contentment, it's new. The rest of the day was quite easy. I did all my jobs on my list and enjoyed them and had some time over. I love you. I'm glad I exist. Such simple words, yet they carry a depth of meaning. The poet Wendy Cope paints a vivid picture of a day in her life. She finds joy and contentment in the ordinary, the everyday. An orange, a walk in the park, the satisfaction of ticking off tasks from her list. These are the things that make her happy. The joy of sharing, the peace of a fulfilled day, and the warmth of love. These are the sentiments that resonate through her words. The power of the poem, however, lies not just in its words, but in its rhythm. The poem flows with ease, mirroring the ease and contentment of the day it describes. It has a rhythm that is comforting, almost like a lullaby, wrapping the listener in a blanket of warmth and serenity. And then the final line, I love you, I'm glad I exist. These words encapsulate the essence of the poem. They are an affirmation of life, a celebration of existence. They are a testament to the power of love, to the joy that can be found in the ordinary, to the peace that can be achieved in contentment. And that, dear listeners, is the entirety of the orange in its raw, unadulterated form. Let's delve into the first stanza. At lunchtime I bought a huge orange. A simple start, wouldn't you agree? Right from this first line, the poet, Wendy Cope, invites us into a seemingly ordinary moment in her day. Yet, as we'll find, there's much more beneath the surface. This stanza, while brief, is full of rich imagery and symbolism. The act of buying an orange is commonplace, yet the adjective huge suggests there's something extraordinary about this particular orange. It's not just any fruit, it's a symbol, an embodiment of something larger. The mention of lunchtime is also significant. It's a moment of pause in the middle of a day, a break from routine. It's a time associated with nourishment, both physical and emotional. The poet's choice to buy an orange during this time suggests a desire to nourish herself in a way that extends beyond the physical. Now let's consider the orange itself. In literature, oranges often symbolize joy, warmth and sunshine. They're associated with positivity and vibrancy, with their bright color and sweet, refreshing taste. By choosing an orange as her central image, Cope is likely hinting at these connotations, but there's more. The act of buying the orange could also be seen as a deliberate choice of positivity. It's a decision to embrace joy and simplicity in the midst of a complicated world. It's a small, personal act of rebellion against the pressures and complexities of life. So while on the surface, the first stanza of the orange might seem simple and straightforward, it's teeming with deeper meanings. It's a testament to Cope's ability to infuse ordinary moments with extraordinary significance. Through the act of buying a huge orange at lunchtime, the poet introduces themes of joy, simplicity, and the choice of positivity. She invites us to see the extraordinary in the ordinary, to find meaning and symbolism in the mundane. So the first stanza sets the scene, introducing us to the orange, a symbol of joy and simplicity. And this, my friends, is just the beginning. Moving on to the second stanza, I ate my way through the huge orange. Wendy Cope's use of metaphors and personification here is nothing short of masterful. Think about the phrase, I ate my way. It's such a simple everyday action, but in this context, it's laden with meaning. The metaphor transforms the act of eating an orange into a journey, an exploration, a quest of sorts. It's about delving into the unknown, discovering new textures, flavors, and sensations. The orange isn't just a piece of fruit. It's a world to be explored, a mystery to be unraveled, a story to be devoured. The word huge is also interesting. It magnifies the orange, 
turning it into a symbol of abundance, of life's richness and diversity. It's a grand, epic adventure waiting to happen, all wrapped up in a humble orange peel. The whole stanza is a beautiful example of personification as well. The orange is personified as an entity with which the protagonist interacts intimately. It's not just an inanimate object, it has a presence, a personality, a soul. The orange becomes a character in the narrative, sharing the stage with the protagonist, contributing to the unfolding drama. The playful, imaginative use of language here makes the experience of eating an orange feel like a magical, transformative event. It's a celebration of the mundane, a testament to the extraordinary beauty hidden in the ordinary. Thus, the second stanza paints an evocative picture of the protagonist's intimate interaction with the orange. Let's venture into the third stanza, see how easy it is to be full of happiness. This stanza is a vital part of the poem, where the poetess Wendy Cope opens up a conversation about the essence of happiness and its simplicity. In this stanza, Cope is not just suggesting, but rather asserting the ease of achieving happiness. It's as if she's inviting us to see the world through her eyes, to perceive the joy in the mundanity of daily life. She's not searching for grandeur or extravagance. Instead, she finds delight in an orange, a simple everyday fruit. It's a powerful statement on the accessibility of happiness, its presence in our ordinary lives, and how we often overlook it. She also introduces the theme of living in the moment. The act of peeling an orange, feeling its texture, and tasting its sweetness is an exercise in mindfulness. It's about being present, fully engaged with the experience. It's not about the past or the future, it's about the here and now. And in that moment, she finds her happiness. The third stanza, therefore, is not just about an orange or even about happiness. It's a larger commentary on life itself. It's about appreciating the simple pleasures, about mindfulness, about being present in our own lives. So the third stanza encapsulates the crux of the poem, the simplicity of finding happiness in the little things. As we reach the end of our journey through the orange, let's take a moment to reflect. In the quiet calm of Wendy Cope's words, a world of joy and simplicity unfolds, reminding us of the beauty inherent in everyday moments. The orange is not just a poem, but a perspective, a lens through which to view life with renewed appreciation. Through the simple act of peeling an orange, the poet invites us into a world of sensory delight, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary, and the commonplace transcends into the realm of the poetic. The poem is a celebration of the present moment, a testament to the importance of savouring life as it happens. It reminds us that joy can be found in the simplest of things, an orange, a walk, a shared moment. These everyday experiences, often overlooked in the hustle and bustle of modern life, are elevated to a sacred status, inviting us to pause, to observe, to appreciate. The themes of the orange are as relevant today as they were when the poem was penned. In an era where we are constantly bombarded with information and distractions, where our attention is perpetually divided, the poem serves as a gentle reminder to slow down, to immerse ourselves in the present, to find joy in the mundane. Cope's poetry is a celebration of the ordinary, a tribute to the beauty of simplicity. But it is also a call to action, a plea to not let the magic of everyday life slip through our fingers. It's a nudge, a gentle push, to stop, to look around, to truly see the world we inhabit. And so, as we step away from the orange, let's carry its essence with us. Let it be a reminder to cherish the ordinary, to seek joy in the mundane, to appreciate the simple pleasures that life offers. Because, as Wendy Cope so beautifully illustrates, it's in these simple moments that we find the extraordinary. And with that, we conclude our exploration of the orange, a testament to the beauty of simplicity and the joy found in the everyday. And as the final lines of the orange linger in our thoughts, we wrap up today's journey through Wendy Cope's exquisite narrative. If this exploration has opened your eyes to the beauty of the ordinary, the profound in the simple, and the joy in the everyday, then our mission here at The Poetry Corner has been fulfilled. Your engagement breathes life into this channel. So if you found value in our poetic adventure today, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Each like, subscription and comment not only supports us, but also builds a community of poetry enthusiasts united in their love for the beauty of words. Have thoughts, insights or a poem you'd like us to explore? Share your reflections in the comments below. Your interaction enriches our collective journey through the world of poetry. 
Until next time, keep finding the extraordinary in the ordinary. Thank you for joining us at the Poetry Corner. Farewell and may your days be filled with poetic inspiration.